Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a review on the Too Faced Chocolate Chip Mini Eyeshadow Palette. This is the white one. And this has been out for about 3 or 4 years. I found this a few years ago at, I believe, TJ Maxx or it could have been Marshalls. But it was really cheap and I absolutely fell in love with this. If you look online, I'm sure you can probably find like videos of this from way back when. But I've had this for a while and I'm actually super sad that I don't know if they even still make this anymore because I haven't seen it anywhere else. But pretty much what it is, it's a sweet and sugary palette that smells like candy, like sugar. And it is literally a die for. So on the back it says, Cocoa Powder Infused Soft and Sugary Eyeshadow Palette. Has 10 eyeshadows. The color names are Glaze, Ambrosa, Exotica, Pearl Candy, Raspberry Rose, Indulge, Guilt Free, Cake Batter, Cookie Dough, Sugared Raisin, and Black Sugar. So, and this is what the little palette looks like. Hopefully you guys can see that. And I'm sorry about the noise, that's a loud car. And it also has a pretty decent sized mirror for a little palette. Um, and the reason why I'm making this is because I hope that Too Faced sees this and they make a bigger one of this and they keep it for, you know, like a permanent uh, thing because I absolutely love this. This is a great neutral palette if you're just running out the door and you don't have time to do a look. You literally can throw a, throw a look on with this in like a few seconds. Like I'm going to show you here in a minute. So if I can find this, I will definitely link it in the description box below. If not, then obviously I can't find it anymore. But basically I'm doing this review just to tell like the brand you need to make a full size of this. If they even see this video, they might, they might not. So I'm just going to get started. I already primed my eyelids and I'm going to be going in with the color that is right there. I believe this is called Ambrosa or whatever. Um, it's like a nude, it's a nude shade, but it has a little bit of color to it. Let me just get my little brush here. And I'm going to I'm gonna zoom you guys in. And I'm going to put this in my, in my crease. So I'm just going to look in my little mirror right here. And as you see, it gives it a tiny, tiny little bit of color. This color is really good for smoothing out your lid. Like your um, inner corner. Whatever you call that up there, I forget what you call it. Your crease. That's what you call it. I'm just going to keep adding some and building up the color. And you can tell the difference. This side has eyeshadow, that side doesn't. And I'm going to put it over here on this side. Really hoping my mom doesn't come up here and disturb me. I accidentally got this in my mouth before because it like flaked off and it actually tasted sweet. So that goes to show you that this palette is actually a really nice sweet palette. So then I'm going to take, what's that color down there? I think this is either sugared cookie or whatever, or something else. I'm going to be putting that in the crease to darken it a little. So this is like another natural makeup look. why this is like my go-to palette for this sometimes like if I'm just having a really bad day and I don't really want much makeup this is the palette I'll use and do you see how it's making it super natural and then I just go in with the shade on my lid usually it's like a this purpley shade right here which is called little purpley shade which is called I think sugared raisin and I just close my lid and I just brush it all over 
I mean, I close my eye and then I apply it on my lid. And you see how it just gives you a little bit of sparkle? You could even use this wet if you wanted to. But this palette's really good for, um, like, natural everyday looks. It does have some fallout, but not much. I wish they would have made this palette in a full collection because I really like it and I don't understand how this didn't do well. And I'm going to add a little bit of shimmer into my crease. Just to help give it a little extra something. And then I'm going to go in with a different brush and use, I'm going to use this little brush and I'm going to go in with Pearl Candy and I'm going to use that for a brow highlight. And this is beautiful for a brow highlight. I don't know if you, that's picking up on camera, but you can definitely see like how sparkly this is and how pretty it is. And by the way, I do not have any mascara on. I'm just looking and make sure everything looks okay. And I'm gonna just brush off the excess fallout. Ugh, oh, my hair's in the way. And now I'm gonna curl my lashes and add mascara. Normally I would do this off camera, but I figured why not. So I'm just going to apply my mascara really fast. I'm trying to use up this Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. I don't like it, that's why I'm trying to use it up. And you guys know that I don't like this because I've already done a review on it. There's actually a lot of people that don't like this mascara. And what I've seen online, I don't really feel like it does anything for me. I don't realize how hard it is to do this on camera. Oh, what is what it is? Okay, that looks fine. So that is the little look that I came up with. Like I said, it's really natural. It doesn't even look like I'm wearing any makeup. So that is the completed eye makeup for this video. And like I said, this, I love this, and I wish it would come back. Like, oh, maybe I should try and do some swatches. So I'll swatch them, see if I can. So here is, what would this one be? Exotica, I believe. Let me see. Yes, that's a beautiful swatch. Here is Exotica. Here is Ambrosa, the matte shade. It's like a nude, like kind of like a pinky nude. The big one next to it is called Glaze. 
just like a matte white that doesn't show up on my hands can't even see that the next one is the favorite my favorite highlight shade and this one is pearl candy there's pearl candy the next one is called raspberry rose this is like a rosy pink hard to swatch them. Got to wipe off my hands so I can do more the rest of them. The next one is called Indulge. So this is like a grayish silver I guess. And I'm pretty sure this came out in the holiday collection of a long time ago. That's Indulge. Here is this color. It looks like grayish purple. It's a matte shade. And this one is called Guilt Free. Right there. The next one is called Cake Batter, which is this like matte orangey shade right here. The next one is Cookie Dough which is a brown with like sparkle in it. Cookie dough is like a tan color. And then the next one is called Sugared Raisin and then the next one is called Black Sugar, I think. I love this sparkly purple. I have it on the lid right now. So here's Sugared Raisin, and then the black one is called Black Sugar. This is just a very, very black with like some black sparkle. And you can see in there that it's sparkly. So those are all the shades that are in this palette, and these are all the swatches on the back of my hand. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm so sorry if you can't find it anymore. It's truly heartbreaking when you can't find things I know but I just wanted to do this so maybe the company will see this video and make a, another palette like this so yeah that is everything please give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video